Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss a planospore formation in which area. So, a planospore are formed in which area which have terrestrial habitat. And these planospores are formed under unfavorable conditions or you can say in water shortage or drought condition. So, how this formation occurs? Any filament, we know that which area is a filament cell, any filament like juice pore formation first will swell and increase in size. So, first it will swell. So, here you can see that and it becomes club shaped. Then its vacuole start decreasing and there will be a septa formation which will separate this upper collapse filament from the rest of filament. Coming to the next step, here this vacuole will disappear. Here this vacuole will become disappear. Then after disappearance of vacuole, the protoplasm of this club shaped filament, upper part club shaped uh, swelled filament will start constriction or will constrict, protoplasm will constrict and become become separated from cell wall. So, here you can see that this is cell wall and this one is protoplasm. So, protoplasm and cell wall are separated. Then after separation of protoplasm will cell wall with cell wall this cell wall will disintegrate. And this spore, a planospore will come out. Here you can see that this aplanospore is multi nucleated, but here flagella is absent because this spore is formed in which area which have terrestrial habitat. So, in case in case of terrestrial habitat, there is no use of flagella. So, there flagella is absent here. So, it will come out and on a returning favorable condition, it will germinate by producing two filaments. One filament forms rhizoids and another filament will form thallus filaments. So, this is a planospore formation in which area it is somewhat very similar to juice spore but the only difference here is that here flagella are absent 